Raf. Hello, mate. How's it going? Yeah, chuck us that beer. Oofed. That hasn't been right, sitting right, there for six up. minutes. Yeah. Hey, yep, there we yeah, go. It's yep. still cold. Yeah, it is. Anyway, Anthony, mm -hmm. what are we doing here? Um, this is something new. Uh, we're going to call it the uh, MCSA bar session. Because we're at a bar. We are. At his house. <laughs> <laughs> he has a bar in his house because that's what everyone has. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is literally just uh, sort of a update type video where we get to talk about uh, some upcoming videos, updates about our cars. Um, we get to pick out one each of our favorite comments from previous videos and <laughs> critique them. Um, they could be good or bad comments and, and we'll go from there pretty much. And then at the end, on our Instagram, which is mcsa.ig, I've asked you guys to ask us questions and we've picked out some of our favorite ones and we're going to answer some of them. So, Raf, yes, you have an S13, which we saw in a previous video. I do. You didn't show shit other than you <laughs> taking an engine out and then being pissed off at the end of it. So what happened with the engine... <laughs> And where are we at now? And um, what are you doing next? Literally, since that video, I have done nothing other than take all the bolt-ons off the engine. Uh, I've moved it back to my house, and I still haven't touched it. To but be fair, you did clean out the engine a little bit, didn't you? No. Nah. Oh, I, the exterior of it, yeah. I, I cleaned that. But I, I still need to get gaskets and stuff. I was going to do a full rebuild, bottom top, but I thought I'd run the risk and just clean up the top end and see how we go. And send shit going exploding out of the engine. No, no, she'll be right. Okay. It is an SR. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, run some thick oil. She's good. What else is on the cards? I, uh, I know, well, I do know because I, I am friends with you and unfortunately cousins, <laughs> uh, that you have uh, a new car as yeah, well. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you've seen it in some posts and stuff, but I bought a O2 STI, um, which is probably the ugliest of the bunch, but it appealed to me. It uh, popped up and I decided to buy it, but don't regret it at all. Um, I love the car. It's good fun. It's not super fast, but... I'm hoping eventually I'll put some power through it. I'm only aiming for a little 300 kilowatts, nothing on Anthony's, but I think in... I feel like 300 kilowatts in your car would... Yeah, in a Subaru it would be, yeah. it'd be pretty good. Uh, but I went for that because I'm, I'm kind of scared of the five speeds. I've already popped one. So <laughs> I thought I'd just get an SCI. That way I don't have to worry about too much shit other than head gaskets. Yeah, isn't your SCI like one of the better engines as well? Yeah, so I... The bug eyes and the blob eyes got forged internals in the two litres. Um, so I can push to around 300 kilowatts with just head studs. Um, people have pushed it to that without head studs even, but I'm probably not going to do that. Just because... You're scared? Yeah, a little bit. Um, I guess we should sort of update on my car. I'm not planning on getting another car anytime soon, other than probably like a beta that I can send at the track, see if I can uh, see what I can do on a track because I'm very intrigued at how I'd be uh, drifting around Malala in a $300 AU Falcon. That would be absolutely fantastic. But the FG is... Good luck finding one for 300 bucks now. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. The FG is still working, touch wood. Um, the only thing that I'm sort of concerned about is that the clutch would more than likely be on its way out, seeming it's a race clutch. It's not meant to be street driven. I've driven three roll racings now. I've put like six and a half thousand Ks on the clutch and I'm not expecting too much out of it from now till whenever it decides to die. Um, sort of still trying to figure out what I want to do in terms of what clutch I want, but that's another story for another day. Uh, next, I'm, I'm probably really, really leaning towards just doing injectors probably a surge tank and a new turbo um, and try and shoot for the 500 kilowatts. I turbo reckon. first. Turbo first, yes. And just, just, just shoot for the stars, mate. I need a, I need a map sensor as well because... No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. you max out, what, 22 pounds? Yeah. Which but I, bigger turbo, you wouldn't really need... Exactly, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, but yeah, 
Anyway. Cool. So what's our upcoming videos? If you haven't seen, we did a video of Charlie Dixon, which I think is was actually one of our best uh, automotive autopsies that we've yeah, done. Yeah, I, I put a, a fair bit of effort into that. You did, and it was, it and was really good. And he's a fucking good guy, too. He is very good. You wouldn't even know that he was a famous football player if you had to walk past him in the street. But if you haven't seen it, go have a look. Let us know what you think. And if you have seen it, let us know what you think as well. We would like a little bit of constructive criticism. And if you don't like it, let us know, but be nice. Too bad, mate. That too, but be nice. Um, but what's next? We have uh, a video with Matt Williams. Yep. Who His Instagram title is Willie Beating Cancer. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a couple of dots in there too. Yep. You'll put it on the yeah, screen yeah, as I'll well. Yeah, yeah. Ding. Yeah. Um, and uh, he's a great guy. We won't go too much into it because we don't want to give too much away. Um, but we're sort of doing a bit of a... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm aiming for like a short film style video, which is probably nothing we've ever really done before. Um, I've done a couple sort of things like that, but probably not to this extent. Uh, I don't think Anthony realises how much um, I, I, I need to do for planning and, and the shots I want, but uh, we'll get there. We'll see how we go. I guess it's a learning experience, isn't I it? I think it's, it's all going gonna, it's, it's gonna to come together a lot better than Hopefully. you think, Raph, I think. Um, yeah, he, but... he doesn't have any... He has too much doubt in himself, you know? <laughs> he just needs to be... He's fine. We'll be fine. Um... But we also have a, uh, a VF SSV. Um, it's got a big old turbo on it. It's got a glide. It's, it's the works pretty much. Um, and we've got an automotive autopsy coming up on that one soonish. After he does a few more things to it. I yeah, he's still got yeah. more stuff to do to it. So um, that one's going to be a cool one. And I feel like we're probably going to do a roll racing video again. Raf won't be in the next one if it's during the OTR Super Sprint, which I am aiming for if they re release any information about it. What I feel like is going to happen is they're going to do the April roll racing and whoever's the best or the top 30 cars out of that will go to the Super Sprint. That's how I feel it's going to go, but... Not you. Sorry, Kazi. Well, I'm not doing April roll racing in my life. Whatever, man. Oh, well. <laughs> um, if not, I'll do the end of May roll racing and hopefully Raf can go again as well. Yeah, well... That'll be fun. You should. Hopefully. It was it was good, but I don't think I'd do it again at stock. Well, not stock, but my power levels anyway. It was a bit embarrassing. I don't know. At least you got a couple cars you can beat. Yeah, a few. There's not a lot. Like, I don't think. I I feel roll racing isn't a. It's not about if you can beat anyone. It is fun to beat someone. Yeah. Yeah, but I but mean, also where can you go and just top out your car for you know? Main or throw. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> no. So. Cuts. Yeah, Ben, can you go upstairs and get me another beer? Yeah, that's your own. In that little white fridge? Yeah, two beers or yeah. Yeah, three. Whatever's there, just bring them all down. Yeah. Thanks, mate. We got a roadie on set. <laughs> <laughs> this part is the news ish type segment where we were originally going to just start talking about like new production cars, but I don't think we're going to do that. I feel like we should just stick to one topic and one topic only. And that is a bit of an issue that's happened in Queensland over the weekend, which, um, look, we don't want to get <coughs> too... Sorry. We don't want to get too political. <coughs> we don't want to get too much into it because it's not what this video is for. Um, pretty much my view is you can do skids, do whatever you want to do, go into an industrial area, get caught, smash your car. I really don't care. Just don't throw shit at cops for them just doing their job don't abuse people for people literally just doing their job that's pretty much the end line for me i agree but look industrial skids will always happen and it, it always has happened in the past even when our parents were younger they were still doing skids in industrial areas yeah. but I, I gotta say like obviously there's a lot of people in the car scene that have the attitude of fuck cops i hate cops blah 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 and i'm gonna be completely honest a lot of the time I do as well, but it's not going to go to the extent where I'm going to smash up a cop car or hit a cop or anything like that. And to be, to be frank, I've encountered a fair few cops which are actually quite nice. Um, so you, you can't really hate every cop, like you said, for doing, doing their job. Yeah, and I feel that the retaliation was to try and prove a point where it wasn't really proving anything at all. If anything... Oh, we're getting more beers. Fucking oath we are. I'll have it. Yeah. <sighs> oh, okay. 
That's Ben, by the way. Thanks, Rody. Thanks, Ben. If anything, it's it's going to make it worse head. for everyone. That's a um, good head. <laughs> and it's not going to just make it worse for people in Queensland and just normal car enthusiasts that like to take their car out on the weekend. But it's it's going to have other states look at Queensland, the problem that's happening there, and it's going to literally it's going to be a retaliation around the whole nation, and it's not what we want. So let's um, let's hope let's hope that it dies down, it gets flown under the radar. And everyone is sweet, and we can drive our cars like getting deep in. And that's enough of that. That is enough of that. Oh, you want some beer? Yeah, that yeah. Was only two yeah, yeah ha have that one. I've still got this. Where is it? Do you want a head like mine? Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. No one wants a head like yours, buddy. That's a fucking head. <laughs> oh, get out of the way, cunt. Yeah, yeah. Next up, we pick our favourite or least favourite Have comments. you got them? Well, I know what one I. <laughs> All I'm right, gonna let pick, me. You, you, can you pick get yours. yours. You get yours up. I'm gonna get one. Up. <laughs> okay. Fucking, I don't have to search hard for this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe we should cut a little bit. Here. No, 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 no. no. You, you're fucking right, mate. Oh, we've done this too many times. I'm telling these beers are fucking getting to me. <laughs> uh, um. Okay. <sighs> Where is the dog? <laughs> Who's going first? I guess I'll go first because mine's less less um, less funny. Uh, literally, the, the comment was uh, from his name is Sticky Fingers. Uh, he said, "What's your setup?" You know, sometimes my get, my fingers get sticky. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't necessary. So this comment is from Sticky Fingers. He yep. asks me, uh, "What's your setup? How much boost? Factory turbo?" So, um. No, not a factory turbo. It's a B-series turbo. Well, that's factory, though. Well, not factory for my car. A factory B-series. So it's got a 3582 on it. Um, 20 PSI boost on the high boost tune. Uh, 16 PSI on the low boost. Um, and the setup-wise, if you want to see more of my setup, go to the first automotive autopsy video, and it gives you a rundown of the whole car. Raf, what is your favourite comment? I'm very intrigued. See, the, the thing is, I don't know if I can say it's my favourite comment, because there was a good one about um, asking if we if Anthony poured oil down Alex's crack. That was funny. That was a fucking great comment. I'm yes. glad you noticed that. But this is from Conquer the Squirrel. I don't know if it's supposed to spell Conquer like that. C-A-N-K-E-R. <clears throat> just wait. Just pop it. Like, literally just wait, screen grab it here. Bitch. Can't wait to see the motor and box out and left in storage for three years, then up for sale on FB Marketplace, still in pieces. You know what I say? Fuck you. That's what I fucking say. <laughs> to be fair, he's almost right because you can't be bothered <laughs> touching that car. At the, at, at the moment, I can't be fucked, yes. <laughs> Someone did offer me a decent amount of money for the car. I said no, though. Because he wants to build it. I want to do it. But <laughs> Whether that takes three years. It's, it's, not, it's not the fact that I want to build it. It's the fact that I want to fucking drive it. And I, I feel like uh, pretty much on behalf of Raphael, thank you for commenting that because now he actually wants fuck you. <laughs> Mate, stop abusing the people that watch our videos, man. There's like three of them. He's not a watcher. <laughs> he just clicked it and commented. Um, but, yeah, well, let's hope there's not three of you. Love cool. you, mate. Cut. Give us a fucking dislike down below. <laughs> Click that notification bell and fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now onto the questions which we asked you to ask us on our Instagram story. Um, and we sort of, not we, I picked out the um, sort of my, my favorite ones out of them all. Um, I forgot to take your names. Uh, I'm sorry. But uh, the first question was, did you ever have matching cars? Yes, we did. We had, um, we had blue, Su well, I had a blue Subaru GC8. He had a red Subaru GC8. One was the P Plater's Dream, strut brace, coilovers. Exhaust. Exhaust. Manual. Well, yours was manual. Yeah, mine was manual. But you had the WRX kit, WRX wing. Except the scoop. Fuck. Yeah. If you put a scoop on an A, fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm joking. 
Um, and I had a... Uh, front wheel drive. <laughs> I had a front, Subaru. I had a front wheel drive 2 litre GX Impreza. <laughs> um, it looked alright though. That I like, absolutely loved. And then he got defected and I took his coilovers and his strap brace and I uh, put it in my car and it was fantastic. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we did. Yeah. Second question is, what do you both do for work? Well, I work at Harvey Norman. I sell shit. I feel like I've answered this question already. Have you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, I work for a road maintenance company. Um, I, uh, I, I basically, we clean, we clean roads, we fix roads, we, yeah. It, it's, it's basically just a road maintenance company. You don't need to know really much more than that. It's a great place to work at and that's pretty much it. Um, third is, what are your hobbies? Sort of uh, answers itself. Well, I mean, cars. Yeah, cars. <laughs> Raf would be more, uh, you know, his videos. Well, yeah, I hobbies would be cars, obviously, but also filming, making videos, which is why I do this. I, I guess we can say MCSA itself is a hobby oh, of yeah. ours. No, hundred percent. I, I like other than cars. My only hobby is is like, creating content in exactly. a sense. Because well, I mean, obviously, we're not making money off this. Um, I mean, that's technically not the end goal anyway. We're just here to make content for you guys to enjoy. Because it is, it is genuinely fun to do. Yeah. Like, even this Especially, especially this, because, you know, I'm half cut. I'm starting to sober up now with all the takes we've done, but yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> um, the one, this one goes, goes to me, actually. Um, Anthony, what made you buy your Falcon, and how far do you think you'll go with, with it modification-wise? Um... Pretty much, short story is I got a ride in, in a 300 kilowatt XR6 turbo when I was like five years old back in 2003 or four or whatever. And ever since then, I've always said that I'll have either an F6 or an XR6 turbo. Looked at some F6s, didn't like the colors. I loved orange and I loved Mystic and Breeze. Found my mine, went there, paid for it, drove it home. And now we're here. Future-wise, look, I would love if I ever win the lottery to do sequential, uh, a sequential box, um, but that's twenty thousand dollars. You don't need the lottery for that. That's, that's a twenty thousand dollar gearbox that I'm not gonna. No, do. you, it's you, you're capable. Yeah, um, I want a massive high mount turbo with a big boy gate and a big boy screamer. Um, and I want to make like a thousand kilowatts. Look, that, that, that would be the end goal for anyone, for any, any of your cars would be to be at the maximum where you can, where, like your maximum potential. So modification wise, I would do as much as possible, but it's, the end is money. So yeah. I think... What are you going to afford? Exactly right. And maybe one day, MTSA will take off and we can start building our own cars through this and we could get the things that we want, like a... Gazillion but kilowatt Subaru. What and that means is a sequential Falcon. Better content for you guys. Yeah. So you Which know. isn't this video. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe, um, share, like, comment. Subscribe, share, <laughs> like, comment. <laughs> um, Push the notification bell. We've got another question, which is who are your sponsors? Um, which is an interesting one. We more so have uh, partnerships. They're yeah. not really sponsors. You'd think that automotive therapy, like fully full blown sponsors me, um, but it's more so like a partnership. We, uh, you know, we just have a really good, good like working relationship. I, I, I plug him that much, and he does as much as he can for me. So, you know, he's just uh, Adam's just a great guy. Ryan does good work. They do great work. Um, we also have Mackilek, who we have a discount code through. Um, who's that is in our bio if you want to use it. Um, and recently we did, we're, we're doing a sponsorship program with Mishimoto. More a partnership program. Yeah, it's but a yeah. partnership program. Um, so... See how that goes. Yeah, that is very exciting. Um, Raf hopefully put some Mishi parts in his S setting. <laughs> that's, that's the goal. I can't I mean. put Mishi parts in a Falcon because they only have a yeah. cooler. No, not even a cooler. They have a radiator. That's it. Um, it's something. But yeah, if there's any companies want to collab, shit, let's do it. I mean, could you say that SA Autospares sort of sponsors you? Because they built your engine for your last car. All right, look, let's just cut this out. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Nah. No, nah, SA Auto is great. I mean, I am wearing their jumper. Yeah. 
Good guys, they helped me out a lot. You know, I did a bit of filming stuff for them. Went to Sumi Nats in 2019. Um, basically, did a labour for labour love job. You know, I d did a video for them and they helped me out build my engine for that black piece of shit. Um, which now I've got another piece of shit for. <laughs> um, nah, they're they they're good. I love those guys. Look, we've got uh, we've got another one, which is this is a very very serious question, right? KFC or Macus? Look, I'm, I'm going to straight up say it depends on the mood. I agree. There's, there's no way you can hands down and say KFC or Maccas. <laughs> Ben's laughing. But you fucking agree, don't you? That being said, Do you Zing agree? Zinger box is slap, man. I mean, right? Zing the fuck on. I mean, but there's, there's sometimes when I'm hungover as shit and sometimes I feel like a quarter pounder. Right. And there's other times I feel like a Zinger box. You know, there's no set hangover cure other than another beer. Which you don't need. And uh, lastly, I, I did ask the question back to this person who you can probably figure out who it is. Um, I asked, is it a question or is it a statement? And all I got right back from him was just respond. So... What the, is it? What's the, the, what's the statement The question? statement is, Oz DM sexual experience. Well, so far, I have not had a sexual experience with Oz DM. Um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to my sexual experience with them. With them? I'm pretty sure there's multiples. Is there? I think so. Well, that's fucking even better. That being said... Uh, Double, yes. triple, quadruple penetration? <laughs> I'm down. Yes, yes, to, the, to the answer, the answer that question, yes. Harry, yeah. if you're watching, we yes. both have the same chin. Let's do it. Yes. And on that note... <laughs> that's it, guys. Uh, I've ran out of beers, and I'm fucking yeah, not happy. We're at the end. And I think uh, I think that's where we wrap it up. Hopefully, this was uh, this was interesting. We can do more of these because it was sort of fun to make. Um, even if we get like three views, I think I'd still want to do another one. Um, but but yeah. apparently, I can't drink as much. No, no, nowhere near. Well, as maybe much. if we do fucking one take. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe if you weren't an idiot, we wouldn't have to do multiple. Takes. So on that note, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. <laughs> Fuck you all. Calm down, and Fuck Adam. that guy that fucking said, I'll see you fucking engine and parts of marketplace. Stop swearing, man. It's not what this is. Anyway, have a good night. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye. Bitches. <laughs> oh, God, I hate you so much.